What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Bash. Y'all tune in to another episode of Ian's Podcast. Today, man, we're going to be talking about Martin Luther King Day. And for some of y'all may know, the day doesn't actually fall on his birthday, but we're going to go into why that is and just go on, you know, just go further into the significance of Martin Luther King Day and the history behind it. It's your boy Bash. Y'all tune in to Ian's Podcast. It's now it's time to listen up. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Bash. Y'all tuned in to another episode of Ian's Podcast, man. So, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, man. So, let's go ahead and look at a little bit of the history behind Martin Luther King Day. Man, Martin Luther King Jr. Day is a is a federal holiday, man. Falling on the third Monday of every January. The day is to celebrate his birthday and, you know... And I honor, you know, honor his legacy, even though his birthday was January the 15th. Um, but, you know, King, um, Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated, you know, uh, April 1968. And that started like a lot of riots and I was doing like a racial, a racial time. So, you know, just going all the way back, you know, well, as fast forwarding, but we still back in time fast forwarding, you know, in in the 80s, you know, Ronald Reagan era, you know, he signed a bill making the third Monday of every January, you know, Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, day. And it got approved as a federal holiday. And uh, that it became the first federal holiday for, you know, African-Americans. Excuse me. So, by it being recognized as a federal holiday, that means, yes, a lot of banks, schools, um, you know, the mail, anything federal will most likely be closed or non-operating to the public um, in observance to Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um... But, you know, that was also big. I didn't uh, really know that that was the first uh, black recognized federal holiday. I didn't know that that, was, that went into effect um, into the 80s, you know, during the uh, Ronald Reagan era. So, those, you know, good, good point to know. Um, but just going back into the whole Martin Luther King Day, um, and then just being an observance of Martin Luther King, um, how much of his his practices and how much of his fight that he was fighting for back then is still going on still to this day. Still a poor people campaign. And still, we still got economic disparities. We still got racial disparities. We still got educational, you feel me, like, lack of funding, um, you would need prison reform, uh, we see, we seen from the viral, um, the viral pics of what's going on down in Mississippi, but this is going on in a lot of prisons, it's going on in a lot of prisons, so we need to take, take note and really, you know, shine a light on these prisons and really see, is they really creating an atmosphere that's really, you know, um, bettering our brothers into becoming, you know, rehabilitated men and, you know, an asset to society. It's just, um, you know, an observance of of Martin Luther King is very powerful because you got to look at what he stood for. He stood for peace, but he also stood for, you know, um, economic uh, change as well. He wanted people to change their mindset all the way around. Man, because for real, for real, he knew that, like, shoot, money, money ran a lot of, a lot, it ran a lot of people way of thinking, it ran a lot of policies, it ran a lot of laws, it just pretty much ran, you know, people's morals, it ran who people were throughout the day, your day is pretty much occupied for what you have to do to get money. 
So, you know, that's also, you know, I, I ain't going to go too far into it because I want you to research on your own about um, some of the economic issues he was, you know, challenging and going up against, not just also the racial aspects. He was fighting for, you know, equality and stuff of that nature, but he was also follow, uh, fighting for a few other things too. Um, you feel me? Don't get me wrong. Go ahead and look at what he was doing. He was out in them trenches, you know. He was really out there with it. Um, but he was fighting two fights at the same time. He was going after the economics, but he was also going after the racial. Because he knew both of them uh, was just an idea that was being projected upon people. That was being created. As far as where it came down to people being poor, that was just people wanting to be rich. So, yeah, man, I, I want to kind of hear back from y'all, man, how y'all feel about it, man. Uh, how do y'all celebrate Martin Luther King Day? Uh, did y'all know when it was actually started? Um, man, just how do y'all feel about it, man? How did he have an impact on y'all? You know, it's a lot of King, Martin Luther King High Schools, Martin Luther King Drives, and all this type of stuff. So, you know, how, how do it feel to come from, you know, some or just understanding, like, you went to a school or you stayed in the area or you were just somewhere where this man had a, a impact on. We'd love to hear from y'all, man. Leave a voice message, man. Comment. You know, we always love to support, man. Like, share, and subscribe. It's your boy Bass. It's podcast, man. We tuning out, man.